Welcome to the Daily Writer Podcast, where we bring you tips and inspiration each day to help you build habits for writing success. For more resources, including your free Daily Writer Starter Kit, visit dailywriterlife.com. We're doing a short series on perspectives that go against conventional wisdom. And if you're just not joining us, I encourage you to go back and catch the last few entries in this short series. Today, I want to remind you of an obvious truth, but it's a truth that we like to avoid. And here it is. I'm just going to say it. You're going to die someday. Here's my question. When you die, what happens to all those ideas that you've been storing? What happens to all those books and stories that you wanted to get to someday, but you didn't? What happens to all those big plans and dreams that you have? Well, the truth is that all those things will die with you unless you do something with them while you're still alive. Now, the exception, of course, is if you're one of those authors who leaves notebooks full of amazing ideas and publishers turn them into books years and decades after your death, or they have some other writers flush those out and they list you as a co-author on the book, even though you didn't really do it. But I digress. That's actually a very, very small percentage of people who pass away with great notebooks full of ideas. The fact remains that for most of us, our creative ideas will have no value once we're gone. Here's another way of saying it. It all goes back in the box when you go in the box. So make use of those ideas now. Don't wait around for the perfect time because, frankly, it'll just never come. Great ideas are like money. They have to be spent in order to have the greatest value. Money in circulation does far more good than if it does just sitting in your bank account piling up endlessly. Your ideas are kind of the same way. Put those ideas out there in circulation on blogs, podcasts, social media, books, or articles, or workshops, or speeches. Just get them out there and see what happens. You might just be surprised when you get your ideas out there at the cool things that happen because you simply shared those ideas. After all, at the end of the day, your life has an expiration date. So make use of the time that you have while you still have it. Here's today's question. Are you making a habit of getting your ideas out there, or are you storing them for the quote-unquote someday that may never actually come? Before I wrap up, I want to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by the new book, The Faith of Elvis, A Story Only a Brother Can Tell. I wrote this book with Billy Stanley, who is Elvis Presley's stepbrother, to share the untold story of Elvis's deep Christian faith. You'll read never-before-published stories about Elvis's generosity, how he relied on his faith in tough times, and what it was like for Billy to grow up with Elvis as an older brother. It was honestly a huge privilege for me to be involved with this project, and the early reader feedback that I've heard has been that it's a very quick read that leaves you feeling inspired. So if you love Elvis, if you love music, if you love great storytelling, or if you just want to deepen your personal faith, I promise that you're going to love The Faith of Elvis. The book releases on October the 4th, and you can pre-order it at all the major retailers and even download a free chapter via the link in the show notes. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you tomorrow.